here at the shop, we're always really busy. But when we hear about a small hoard or a collection, it definitely perks our interest. I went there, we put a package deal together. Today, we're taking you guys along. We're gonna pick up the stuff that we bought. Some may call us hoarders. We call ourselves collectors. These vehicles are very unique. I'm excited to have them at the shop. Everything requires just a little bit of work because it's been off the road for a while, but that's what we do here. So let's head there, grab what we bought, and bring it back to the shop. Just about to roll up on site. We've got to talk to the old fella and make sure that he's alright with us making a little video. Well, we're here on location and well, first things first. It looks like I gotta back the trailer down a cliff. And do a 90 degree at the bottom. And hopefully if it all goes well. We're not going to end up in the river. Great. So we're down here on the Thompson. The wind is absolutely horrendous today. I apologize about the audio, but it is going to be what it's going to be. You know you found a sweet little honey hole when you see stuff like that. Let's come over here and see what we got. So, we have purchased both of these sweet little Volkswagen kit cars. We're going to be taking them back to the shop. We've got to look them over. Neither of them run at this point. This one here, a little Baja Bug has no motor in it, but it does have the motor sitting over there, which I've been told is a rebuilt engine out of a Volkswagen van. So we're gonna be rebuilding this one, and you know, hopefully we're gonna be able to cruise it, you know, maybe on the beach or something. I'm just as excited about this vehicle. This year, I don't even know what year it is. I don't care what year it is. It's just super cool. Well, this will be the first one that we're going to pull out and load up and get back to the shop. Just, I can't wait to get my finger dug into this thing and get it running. I can picture myself, you know, maybe cruising downtown. Yeah, that'll need a little bit of work. Love it. As you guys know, we love stuff pretty unique around here and this well well okay um. <laughs> honk if parts fall off saw that. It's there for safety reasons. I can sum this up in one word. Russell.
What do you guys think about that? Can you see yourself bombing around in it? I sure can. I don't know, she might have got some, the street slick tires on her, might need some off-road tires put on. But first thing is just get her back to the shop. Don't worry about the rest later. Just get her strapped up, get out of here. Now that we've got these two classics back to the shop, make sure you guys follow along as we get them running and put them back on the streets where they belong. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more of our upcoming videos. Like always guys, be safe out there. Peace.